Respected President Tianning, Respected Secretary Hong Sen, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, good friends, good afternoon. Welcome to the Chinese Literature Readers Club Luncheon Ceremony organized by China Writers Association. I'm Hu Bangsheng, the member of the China Writers Association Secretariat. First of all, please allow me to introduce the leaders and overseas uh, distinguished guests present for this uh, ceremony. They are Madam Tianning, President of uh, China Writers Association, Mr. Zhang Hongsen, Vice President and uh, Party Secretary of China Writers Association, Mr. Abang Salahuddin bin Shakrin Datuk, the Director General of uh, Malaysia Institute of Language and uh, Literature, Mr. Gautam Shraza Nui, former Director of International Department of uh, Iran Cultural Affairs Institute. Mr. Gao Hinsen, head of uh, Malaysia Readers Club, chairman of uh, Han Culture Center of uh, Malaysia. Mr. Li Yeming, head of uh, Singapore Readers Club, chairman of uh, SG Writings Culture Association. Madam Priyani Kumbulman, head of uh, Thailand Readers Club, deputy manager director of uh, Nan Mi Group Company. Mr. Giri Fiden, the head of a uh, Turkish Readers Club and uh, professor of uh, Kasi University. Mr. Lexi Rodifnov, head of a uh, Readers Club in Russia, deputy dean faculty of uh, Asian and African Studies, Saint. Pittsburgh State University. Madam Renwei, the head of a German Readers Club, executive director of uh, Feder Verlag. Mr. Adres Schroeser, event designer of a German Readers Club publisher. And Mr. Andrew Pazimi, head of a Poland Readers Club, president of the Dialogue Academic Publishing House. Madam Mirjana, Pavlovich, head of a Serbian Readers Club, associate professor of a Chinese language and literature at Faculty of a Philology, University of Belgrade. Madame Gaudron Fong, head of a, the Readers Club in France, and president of a France China Cultural Association, and Mr. Alexandra Jules, event designer of Chinese Literature Readers Club in France. Madame Wang Ying, head of a, the British. Readers Club and Mr. David Lamy, the senior editor of uh, ACA Publishing Limited, and uh, event designer of a British Readers Club, Mr. Fernando Rea Mata, head of a Readers Club in Chile, president of uh, Chile. Chinese Institute of Culture, former Chilean ambassador in China, and Mr. Sun Xintang, writer and contact person of our Chilean Readers Club. Welcome to you all. The Chinese Literature Readers Club is an international exchange platform initiated by the literature lovers across the world and supported by the China Writer Association, and its success cannot be separated from your long-term support. And have a look at the video clip for the background of this uh, Reader's uh, Club. Literature is the bridge for communication between people's minds. In the recent years, the literature exchange between China and the rest of the world has been so active. A number of Chinese writers have gone abroad to tell their stories for creation. Everywhere, they are warmly welcomed. The Chinese literature is so deep in content and of a wide range. With a number of uh, classics, it is a window for the population around the world to know about China, but still a lot of uh, content and uh, classics have not been read or seen. So to support the Chinese uh, literature go abroad, we have uh, Establish this uh, Chinese uh, Literature Readers uh, Club and uh, invite our international 
France to witness this uh, historical moment. Now we will have uh, the opening remarks. Please allow me to invite uh, Madam Tianning, President of uh, China Writers Association, to give uh, remarks on the launching ceremony for Chinese Literature Readers Club. Distinguished uh, guests, friends, who love Chinese uh, literature, ladies and uh, gentlemen, good afternoon. Thank you for attending the launching ceremony of a Chinese Literature Overseas Readers Club, which will be first launched in 12 countries at the same time. Here, on behalf of the China Writers Association, I would like to extend a sincere welcome to all distinguished guests and friends and express my heartfelt thanks and warm congratulations to all the friends committed to building the Chinese Literature Readers Club. Here, I want to tell you that before I became a writer, I was a reader first. I remember the feeling of reading foreign literature when I was a teenager, following the unique narration from foreign writers going beyond history, time, and space into the lives of people far away and exploring another emotional world. All this inspired my literary creation. When I became a writer, I was still a loyal reader of great ancient and contemporary books. I believe that they can brighten our hearts and reading can place our minds, enlighten our spirits, warm our world, and rekindle our lives. Therefore, reader is not only a wonderful word, full of happiness and infinite possibilities, but also a lifestyle that many friends and I myself always value so much. Many Chinese people are passionate readers of world literature. My friends and many Chinese writers are very familiar with foreign literature. Foreign literature has always occupied a large proportion in textbooks in primary school, middle school, and universities in China, and a quite big percentage of the more than 15,000 kinds of literary books published every year in China are overseas literature. The latest works of internationally well-known writers are often translated and disseminated in China at the first time. There are specialized foreign literature journals in China and reading clubs and literature saloons distributed all over the country, as well as numerous online literature-themed websites, WeChat, official account, and social groups. Douban.com, the largest cultural community website in China, has more than 100,000 registered members in the category of foreign literature alone. In fact, many classic characters of world literature have included in our vocabulary and lived in our cultural memory. We believe that by reading, appreciating, discussing, and communicating literary works, we can remove ignorance, estrangement, and prejudice, truly understand the country's historical origin, cultural context, social development, and the philosophical thoughts, as well as the rich emotional world and their daily life. Feeling that we are part of the community of a shared future for mankind, caring, understanding, sympathizing with each other, and facing challenges. Because of this, it is also our common cultural mission to build up the Chinese Literature Readers Club, introducing Chinese literature to readers all over the world, deepening mutual understanding and friendship among peoples of all the countries. As we know, compared with the introduction of a foreign literature, Chinese literature has not spread widely in the world for a long time. Although we have thousands of years of literary history, countless treasures, human uh, civilization, poems, essays, novels, and plays that can be written into the memory of uh, mankind, and modern and contemporary masterpieces that can resonate with readers from all over the world, apart from a small number of uh, writers who have been known through the World Literature Awards and other channels. There are still a large number of outstanding writers whose vivid works have not yet been recognized by the international community. These works cover a wide range of subjects, villages, islands, factories, 
hospital, cities, schools, even space and universe. The characters and topics involved are so diverse, ranging from family ethics, cultural identity, gender equality, poverty alleviation through medicine, rule of law, and environmental protection. Some of which are common topics that every country, especially developing countries, will inevitably encounter in the process of modernization. These humanistic literary works are a gift from Chinese writers to readers all over the world, and a call for friendship overseas. Some of the distinguished guests here today are old friends I have known for many years, and some are new friends for me. With years of experience, open mind, and passion for literature, you initiated the Chinese Literature Readers Club in your own country. Through this platform, you will plan and organize Chinese literature-themed reading and exchange activities based on the interest of local literature lovers. You may organize activities through schools, publishing houses, and libraries, or have online communication through magazines, media, internet, and social accounts. You are pioneers. Building a bridge between Chinese writers and overseas readers, so that more readers can communicate with contemporary Chinese literary works and writers. We will provide all clubs with the latest information on Chinese literature in a timely manner. Recommend more wonderful works, assist you in arranging the activities, and provide readers from、uh, all over the world with opportunities to visit China, so that more readers can get to know Chinese literature and Chinese writers through the translation into local languages and the interpretation by the local readers. We will better integrate with. The local cultures and enrich the literature. Hopefully, the Chinese and foreign literature will nourish each other and bloom together, creating a splendid garden of world literature. Dear friends, the Chinese Literature Readers Club belongs to all literature lovers. The day of its launching ceremony is the festival for readers from all over the world. I. Hereby, wish the Chinese Literature Overseas Readers Club a success in all countries, and wish the literary readers of all countries a happy festival. Thanks to Madam Tianning's remarks. Next, I'll give the floor to Mr. Aban Salahuddin, the Director General of the Malaysian Institute of Language and Literature, to give remarks. First of all, I would like to thank、uh, China Writers Association and、uh, Mr. Gong Hinsen, Chairman of、uh, Han Culture Center Malaysia and a member of the Board of Directors of the Malaysia Institute of Language and Literature, for inviting me to attend the Chinese Literature Readers Club launching ceremony. I was.、Uh, Informed that the Han Cultural Center Malaysia was authorized by China Writers Association to establish the Chinese Literature Readers Club in Malaysia. This is such a great honor to. Reward the years of、uh, efforts made by the center in terms of、uh, translation and、uh, publishing, which also includes the translation of、uh, Chinese、uh, literary works into Malaysia by our institute, such as the A Dream in Red Mansions, World of、uh, Plenies, Dynasty of、uh, Yunjun. And the funeral of the Muslims. Dalam bahasa Melayu dan mendapat sambutan yang luar biasa di Malaysia. In addition, the Han Culture Center Malaysia will also organize the reading party for a dream in Red Mansion in Malaysia tonight after this、uh, launching ceremony. 
which will be the first of uh, four reading parties for Chinese uh, translated literature in Malaysia this year. We will invite experts and uh, scholars to share their reading experience. This is a new way for the literature lovers in Malaysia to appreciate the great Chinese literary works, which is unprecedented and has promoted the exchange between Chinese and Malaysian literature into a higher level, so congratulations. The Malaysia Institute of Language and Literature is an official organization affiliated to Malaysian Ministry of Education, which will fully support the Chinese Literature Readers Club activities to be organized in Malaysia so that the civilizations in Asia will have mutual exchange, expand consensus, seek for common values, and make a greater contribution to China-Malaysia bilateral relations. Literature is the best media and a platform because literature enable global readers to appreciate each literary work beyond borders, races, religions, time and space. Here, I would also like to thank China Writers Association for providing such a platform to know about Chinese literature. Hopefully, in the future, we will also make efforts to introduce Malaysian literature to China and to Chinese readers. Thank you. Thanks to Mr. Abang Salahuddin. Next, we'll listen to the speech by Mr. Gollum Raza Nuwe, former director of International Department of uh, Iran Cultural Affairs Institute in video. من بیش از 20 سال در زمینه نمایشگاه‌های کتاب در خارج از کشور فعال بودم و مختم که ادبیات همیشه بهترین راه برای برقراری ارتباط با فرهنگ‌های مختلف و کمک به ما برای درک یکدیگر است. باعث می‌شود خوانندگان از سراسر جهان احساس مشترک به خود تجربه کنند. و البته این راه خوبی برای تحقق جاده جامعی با آینده مشترک است. که از سوی چین پیشنهاد شده است بنابراین واقعا معتقدم شبکه ادبی کمربند و جاده پیوند مهم برای مراودات ادبی بینالمللی فراهم خواهد کرد طی سالهای اخیر به کتابهای چینی توجه داشتم و با شرکت واردات و صادرات چین بی ویژه دوستم لیویی برای معرفی کتابهای ادبی چینی به انتشاراتهای ایرانی کارهای زیادی کرد با توصیه مؤسسه نمایشگاه‌های فرهنگی ایران و نمایشگاه بین‌المللی کتاب تهران تعدادی از بهترین مترجمان و ناشان کشورمون را برای همکاری با یکدیگر پیدا کردیم. انتشارات‌های مهند دانشنگار، ویدا، انتشارات ترجمان خرد، مات، عرفان، چخ و فلک، شورا، بومیا که از شهرت خوبی در صنعت نش ایران برخوردار است. به دلیل همکاری خوب خوب کتاب‌های ادبی چین یکی پس از دیگری از جمله هاچی پنگ کوهستان، خانه حسیری، قلعه کوچک، قایقی به سوی بهشت، صدای رسا، در حصار دیوارها و در ره زنبورهای وحشی به فارسی ترجمه و در ایران آتشه شدند. و کتاب های بیشتری تحت ترجمه هستند. برای آن کتاب ها مفالیت های زیادی در آره دیدیم و خانندگان ایرانی با نویسندگان و آثار چینی و نیز چین توصیب شده در این آثار بیش از پیش آشنا شدند. بنابرای تجربه که در نشر و فرهنگ ایران دارم و در بیش از پنجاه نمایشگاه کتاب و رویداد ها رویداد فرهنگی خارج از ایران شرکت داشتم به نظرم بسیاری از مردم ایران دوست دارند از چگونگی توسعه کشور چین در سالهای اخیر بیشتر بدانند و به نظرم این گناسا نیز جذابیت زیادی دارد علاوه بر رمانهای چینی چنین چینی کتابهایی نیز بسیار محبوب هستند بعدا در باشگاه خبرنگاران خارجی ادبیات چین 
فرصت بیشتری برای صحبت با نویسندگان بزرگ چینی و بالا بردن محبوبیت کتاب های آنها در ایران خواهم داشت. این از جمله برنامه های خوب ما در آینده است. من خیلی خوشحالم که در این مراسم رونمایی شرکت کردم و احساساتم رو در اینجا به اشتراک میگذارم. معتقدم که باشگاه خانندگان خارجی ادبیات چین کتاب های برجسته ای از نویسندگان چینی رو برای خانندگان ایرانی و ارمغان میاره. از طرف دیگر امیدوارم بتوانم روزی کتاب های ایرانی را در این شبکه ادبی معرفی کنم. از همه شما سپاس گذارم برای این مراسم آرزه موافقیت کامل دارم. Thanks to Mr. Nui. Next, we will continuously play the remarks by the Haas and uh, event designers of uh, Six Readers Club in Thailand, Germany, UK, Poland, Serbia, and Chile. Listening to their expectation about the readers' uh, uh, club in the future. ทำธุรกิจผลิตและจำหน่ายเครื่องเขียนเครื่องใช้สำนักงานอุปกรณ์ศิลปะโรงเรียนสอนภาษาและสำนักพิมพ์ทองเกษมบริษัทของเราให้
ทําให้กิจกรรมต่างๆของสมาคมนักอ่านวรรณกรรมจีนต่างประเทศประสบความสําเร็จส่งเสริมนักอ่านชาวไทยให้สนใจในวรรณกรรมจีนมากยิ่งขึ้นและเป็นสะพานเชื่อมความสัมพันธ์ความร่วมมือระหว่างสองประเทศให้แน่นแฟนยิ่งขึ้นยิ่งยิ่งขึ้นไปขอบคุณมากค่ะอาจารย์好，很高兴能参加我们中国文学海外读者俱乐部的奇奔仪式活动。我是任磊，是德国丁香出版社版权公司的总经理。我是二零零五年起在德国从事出版和版权的工作。那么德国丁香出版社的主要的业务呢，是包括出版和版权代理。我们去年和德国的一家非常优秀的成人出版社马斯森杂志。引进了残雪老师的《新世纪爱情故事》的德文版，那么今年十月份呢，将在德国出版上市。我们将在法兰克福书展期间呢，和出版社一起举办一场作家读书会，把这本来自中国的优秀的文学作品呢，推荐给更多的德国的读者。借此机会呢，也想祝读者俱乐部呢举办成功，将来呢能有更多的中国。文学作品能够推荐给德国读者，让德国读者了解中国文化，能够促进德中人民之间的友谊。谢谢大家。你好 ，Hello and welcome to Matheson Zeiss Berlin. My name is Andreas Rötzer and I am for over 20 years the publisher of Matheson Zeiss Berlin, a publisher that focuses on fiction and non-fiction, on literary. Um, and literature and essay writing for over 40 years now. The program includes about 100 writers a year and focuses on the fr French world, on the fascinating Asian and Chinese world. Our aim is to make this world, um, these fascinating cultures, uh, in all its shades, past and present, known to a bigger audience. And when you talk about China and the Chinese literature, you can't avoid to come across um, Sun Chui and her fascinating texts. So I'm very proud now that we are going to publish um, her new text, Love in the New Millennium, and make it known to the German audience. This is, of course, a challenge to the German reader, um, but it's a rewarding challenge, and um, it's um, a fun to read with all its wit and its great imagination. I'm therefore very pleased that we are publishing Time to Time and I wish you a happy week and uh, have fun. Dear distinguished guests, my name is David Lamb. I'm a senior editor at ACA Publishing and speaking to you here in a relatively sunny Richmond Park in southwest London. We are very pleased to be given the opportunity to say a few words at today's launch. The Chinese Literature Readers Club is an exciting initiative and we are honoured to be part of it. On behalf of ACA Publishing, we would like to congratulate the China Writers Association and Ms. Tianning, Mr. Hu Bangsheng and their team for making it happen. Elaine Charles Asia was established by a small team in April 2007. And from our humble beginnings, we have become a magazine publisher established in fiction and non-fiction publishing, producing more than 30 titles a year. We operate two lists, Sinuous Books, which publishes the best China-related literature and fiction in translation, and ACA, which has a more academic and social sciences books. Here is a selection of books we have uh, published, and they include ones by Jia Pinghua, Wang Jitsai, and Zhou Mei Sen. Our mission with Sinuous Books is to act as a bridge between China and the English-speaking world, so that the best Sinophone authors and their works can cross the language barrier. We believe that literature is a summation of our struggles, aspirations, and ideals of the authors. And only by appreciating them can we truly achieve a deeper level of understanding. We partner with award-winning translators and maintain the highest editorial and design standards in order to ensure that these titles are presented in the best possible light. 
We have also initiated energetic marketing and events campaigns in order to introduce English readers to these gems of Chinese literature and culture. We very much look forward to hosting more events in the UK. This autumn, we are planning three events that center around the works of Su Tong, here, Zhou Dastin, and Li Duan. Thanks again for inviting us to take part in this initiative. We look forward to working with the Chinese Literature Readers Club for many years to come. Thank you again. Dear friends, I want to express my sincere greetings to all of you, honorable representatives of the Chinese Writers Association, and all those who participate in today's event. My name is Andrew Pazhenies, and I am the president of the Dialogue Academic Publishing House. I represent one of the oldest non-public publishing houses involved in the publication of China theme literature in Poland. For many years, we have been promoting reliable knowledge about China, the state with the longest continuous written history of any country in the world. We publish scientific works by the best Polish, Chinese, and European sinologists. But also, or perhaps most of all, we popularize among the Polish people the best Chinese fiction literature translated into Polish. During our several years of cooperation with the Chinese Writers Association, we have managed to publish special publications that have been noticed and appreciated by Polish readers. I want to mention our latest, most important joint projects. Most of all, we are proud of two anthologies, the Anthology of Contemporary Chinese Short Stories, Polish title Siedmiopiętrowa Pagoda, English title Seven Story Pagoda, and the Anthology of Contemporary Chinese Poetry, Polish title Światła w Bursztynie, English title Lights in Amber. The authors whose texts are included in these two collections are winners of the Lushun Literary Award, the most prestigious literary award in China. It is an honor for us that we can present the best modern Chinese literature to Polish readers. Therefore, it is a great pleasure for me that Dialogue Publishing House becomes this year part of the Chinese Literature Readers Club initiative. Interest in Chinese literature in Poland is not waning. Polish people are eager to broaden their literary horizons and are open to Chinese fiction. Little known but centuries-old literary contacts between China and Poland prove that the minds and hearts of the representatives of these two nations can communicate and enter into dialogue precisely through literature. I am convinced that the Chinese Literature Readers Club in Poland will be trending and it will be a remarkable space for the contacts between civilizations, not at the level of governments or institutions, but an ordinary man sensitive to culture. I thank once again the Chinese Writers Association for such an initiative and wish us all good luck. Mislim da ćemo se svi složiti da je književnost ogledala društvo i kulture neke zemlje. Ona je od uvek imala vrlo važnu ulogu u razumevanju drugih naroda, njihovi istorije i društveno-kulturnih prilika. Srpski čitaoci su vrlo radoznali u pogledu Kine i s velikim zanimanjem čitaju kineska književna deka. Ovaj projekat će im svakako pomoći da bolje upoznaju svoje online pisice. Interkulturni dijalog ove vrste produbit će tradicionalno prijateljstvo između Kine i Srbije. Ponosna sam što sam dobila priliku da sarađujem sa udruženjem pisica Kine i kineskim publikacijama na ovom projektu. Hvala na pažnje. Dear friend, from the other side of the world, from the south of the extreme south of Latin America, I send you a great greetings. Writers are 
Tusken, we understand the, the feeling of their society, uh, of their time. Now, when the globalization brings the urgency of understanding between these people and the different diverse cultures around the world, a dialogue uh, between writers is more necessary than ever. We still know little in Latin America of contemporary Chinese literature. Yes, it's a big mistake. But for this reason, the relationship that now we establish between the Chile-China Cultural Institute in Chile can have with the association, your association of writers of China, can have the great opportunity to us. We are grateful that our institute is the local, the local headquarter of the Foreign Readers Club of Chinese Literature here. Thanks to the six hairs and the event designers of our readers' clubs for their remarks. Next, we will have uh, another five hairs and event designers of readers' clubs to share with us their idea online. First, Mr. Li Yeming, the head of uh, Singapore Readers' Club. Good afternoon. I am a Li Yeming from uh, SG Writings Culture Association. I'm uh, very delighted to attend this uh, Chinese uh, Literature Readers Club launching ceremony and also participate in this uh, platform organized by China Writers Association. Last month, we have uh, already launched uh, the activity of the Readers Club in Singapore. And the uh, first uh, campaign was to introduce the Chinese uh, films and literature in Singapore, themed on the film directed by Zhang Yimou. You know, Singapore is a very international city, and here we have a diversified races and cultures and a big percentage of Chinese, and the Singaporean government is supporting the bilingual education, and there are a lot of uh, people reading the Chinese uh, literature, which is uh, very supportive for us to promote Chinese literature here. And here we enjoy the very good public uh, library system, and we have a number of uh, Chinese uh, culture campaigns in Singapore with Mm, Chinese Cultural Center, the SG Writings uh, Cultural Association have a deep cooperation. We will take advantage of all of these uh, um, this, uh, strengths to introduce Chinese literature to Singapore and also play the role of Singapore as a multi diversified culture integration, promote the communication between writers and between writers and uh, translators, and taking advantage of our bilingual strength to further promote the Chinese literature. We have uh, planned a series of activities which will be launched very soon. Even though we are still amidst the pandemic, but uh, to support this uh, long ceremony in the city center in Singapore, we have also shot a video. We would like to play it here to show you the life of Singaporeans during the pandemic. And also we would like to use this uh, video clip to send you our best wishes. Thank you. I am uh, Ye Ming from uh, SG Writings uh, Cultural Association. I'd like to send my greetings uh, to all the readers of Chinese uh, literature. We have uh, just uh, established the Chinese Literature Readers Club in Singapore and uh, organized the first activity at the end of uh, July. 
taking use of uh, the TV programs and the film of uh, On the Cliff. We have uh, launched the Chinese literature activity. We have uh, invited the Chinese uh, writers and the Singaporean writer and uh, literature reviewer. We have almost 80% of uh, the local population originally from uh, Chinese, which is uh, very helpful to promote the Chinese literature here. And we have a perfect integration of Western and Chinese culture. We would like to play our role in promoting this cultural exchange and launching the Chinese uh, literature into a higher level. The SG Writing and Cultural Association also participated in a number of uh, cultural events, for example, the Reading Festival annually held in Singapore. We will introduce more influential Chinese cultures into the Singaporean local radio events. Due to the pandemic, our activities can only be held online now. Hopefully, when the pandemic comes to the end, we could have an offline activity. And also in cooperation with uh, Singapore National Library, we could organize more cultural activities in the public libraries. And in conclusion, I wish the Chinese Literature Readers Club a success and a play into the strength of each. Thank you. Next, Mr. Gary Fiden, the head of uh, Readers Club in Turkey. Good afternoon. I'd like to thank the organizer for inviting me to attend this important event. Turkey has had the uh, largest uh, readers of uh, Chinese uh, literature for the past uh, 10 years. More and more Turkish are interested in Chinese literature. I have uh, translated the Master Swing's uh, Art of a War, the Analects of uh, Confucius and uh, Chuang Tzu, and uh, also I've uh, uh, translated uh, Old Boat. Of course, these have been uh, widely recognized by Turkish readers. So I hope there will be more Turkish readers of Chinese literature because of the Reader Club in Turkey, and uh, hope this uh, Chinese Literature Readers Club is a big success. Thank you. Next. Mr. Lasky, Radio North head of a Reader's Club in Russia, respected uh, President Tianning, dear colleagues, good afternoon. I'm very delighted to attend this uh, ceremony to meet uh, old friends and uh, new friends. The Chinese uh, literature is world-class literature, the literature of uh, confidence, and has contributed uh, great works uh, sharing the Chinese wisdom and experience with the world. Over the past uh, 10 years, as China is uh, rising in all aspects and China is getting more popular, we have uh, seen great uh, breakthroughs in terms of uh, Chinese literature going abroad. This is not only about uh, quantity, but also the quality of uh, translated works. In spite of the achievement, but as the Chinese are uh, saying, we should always seek for excellence. So there is still a long way to go. We could never live on the past. In my opinion, for the Chinese literature to go global, we need more marketing and promotion activities. We should not only focus on translation and publishing, but enhance the visibility of uh, contemporary Chinese literature. We need continuous innovation with new practice and new technologies. China Writers Association has taken various measures to promote 
the exchange between Chinese and foreign literature, holding various uh, seminars, including the translator seminars, to promote excellent uh, great works. I believe this uh, Chinese literature radio uh, club is a highly significant, which will go directly to the general public to launch grassroots promotion activities, which has uh, always been underestimated by the government or the publishing houses. In Russia, we have uh, set up the clubs for sonologists and translators and to launch the online channel on August 1st to organize a series of online offline activities. I wish we could make joint efforts to better introduce and tell the Chinese stories and the Chinese literature. Next, Madam Gao Chunfang and Mr. Alexandra Dubon from a Reader's Club in France. Respected leaders, Dear friends, I am uh, delighted to meet you online to celebrate the launching ceremony of our Chinese Literature Readers Clubs, especially the establishment of the clubs in many countries. Sitting next to me is uh, Mr. Alexandra Duber and another gentleman, they are both the event designers of a Reader's Club in France. We know there are a number of uh, excellent uh, writers in China, as well as uh, thousands of years of uh, splendid uh, culture and uh, civilizations. The poems created thousands of years ago are still popular today. My students in painting in Paris are writing calligraphy of Chinese uh, poems in Tang and Qing dynasty, and they are also carefully translated into French. And we know there are also a large number of excellent uh, female Chinese uh, writers. We will uh, be dedicated to promoting them. And uh, I have very good relationship with Chinese uh, literature community. We have uh, held the first uh, Chinese uh, Film Festival in 2004, receiving or hosting the delegation from uh, China who recommended to host this uh, film festival every year. So I would like to thank him for the great support. Time flies. 17 years has passed. Now, we are meeting each other again in literature. Film and literature are intertwined with each other. We have uh, introduced a number of films adapted from uh, novels, such as novel by President Tian Ying. And I'm delighted to collaborate with China Writers Association to establish the Reader's Club in France and introduce Chinese literature, especially the contemporary Chinese literature. Most of our members are entrepreneurs and elites in various aspects. They are all lovers of uh, literature. They also are writers. They are interested in the Chinese culture and the Chinese uh, literature. I hope there will be more French translation of Chinese literature. We will also cooperate with the local publishers and bookstores to promote Chinese literature. We welcome the Chinese writers to visit Paris and meet the readers face to face. Thanks again to Secretary Hong Xin, President Tianning, and all the dear colleagues.
Good afternoon. Thank you. I am uh, Dubas. I am a friend. It gives me a great honor to attend today's uh, event. I'd like to thank uh, Madam Go for inviting me to attend this uh, ceremony and making my contribution to the Radio Club in France as uh, a person interested in Chinese culture and uh, Chinese uh, literature. I visited Beijing in 2005 to learn Chinese. I sincerely hope my French countrymen and international friends could get more knowledge about Chinese uh, culture, Chinese uh, literature, and the Chinese people. I remember the first Chinese uh, novel I read is uh, Brothers by Yu Hua. I read it very slowly. I need to look into the dictionary all the time. So it took me several months to finish the novel. For foreigners, reading books is the best way to improve the language skills, including vocabulary, grammar, but of course we cannot uh, count on all the French people or international friends to learn Chinese in order to read Chinese literature. So today, a number of Chinese literatures have been translated into foreign languages. So hopefully, through this uh, Chinese Literature Readers Club, we could attract more international friends to know more about Chinese culture, Chinese literature, and the Chinese people. And of course, I would like to make my own contribution to this process. Thank you. Dubus is a very famous. He is also the anchor for a number of TV programs. Thanks to our international friends for the remarks. Next, we will have the official launch ceremony of Chinese Literature Readers Club. We will highlight the um, 12 cities of the first group of uh, Readers Club in animation. Next, I will invite Mr. Zhang Hongsen, Vice President and Party Secretary of China Writers Association to declare the official launch of Chinese Literature Readers Club. Now I declare that the Chinese Literature Readers Club is officially launched. I wish all the clubs success. Hopefully, the literature exchange between China and the rest of the world will be more active and prosperous. Wish the Chinese literature benefit more readers and households globally. Thanks to all the distinguished guests and friends. That concludes the launching ceremony. Hopefully, after the pandemic, we could meet each other in Beijing as soon as possible. See you.